Hello, I'm Lee from Data Harvest. Today I'm just going to go through our three temperature sensors for and explain which one is best for which experiment. It's one of the most common questions that we get. So we have three temperature sensors that we sell, which are the wireless Bluetooth temperature sensors. So we have this one here, which is unhoused. So it's got, there you go, looks like so. The next one is temperature which we classed as housed. Then we have this one here, which is the K-type thermocouple. So standard K-type there, pop that in just there and we have the K-type thermocouple. So, we'll start with this one. So we class this as temperature fast. Because it's unhoused, it will react even quicker than the housed one. This is used for physiology experiments. It cannot go in solution. So please, if you put it in solutions, you will kill it very quickly. So you can put it, we would have a video under this one that shows you how to do skin due to exercise. Go and have a look at that video. It explains how to use it. But you can pop it on your bicep, for instance, with some tape, get a dumbbell, start doing some exercise, and you can show your uh, muscle will increase temperature by 0.4 to maybe 1.5 degrees. It does depend on the person. You can also do that on the forehead as well. It can also be used in gas pressure experiments. With our wireless gas pressure accessory kit, which goes with our gas pressure sensors, this can go in the tubing. So if you start to uh, increase pressure with a syringe, for instance, so you've got the same volume, you're increasing, decreasing the volume by increasing the pressure, the temperature will change and that pricks that up beautifully. So that's for those sorts of experiments. Now temperature, because it's housed, it can go in solutions. It can go in solutions up to about a centimetre before the top, okay? Normally this will go in the clamp on a retort stand. Uh, clamp, boss, retort stand, standard setup. It can go in. What's it used for? Anything you want a temperature change for. So any reactions will have a temperature change, i.e. titration. So not always, but if you, if you have a strong enough concentration when you're doing titration, you will get, I don't know, it may be up to three, four, five degrees temperature change. That needs to be a strong reaction for that, but you can do it. So that will go in for solutions. Okay, so that's ideal for solutions. Now, one of the most common things people want to do sometimes is the Bunsen burner experiment to prove is the yellow flame the hottest or is the blue flame the hottest. Do not use these two. Okay, both of these have a range of minus 40 to 125 degrees. Okay, so great for everyday experiments. This can go in boiling water. So if you want to heat it up with uh, a Bunsen burner, for instance, or put it in a kettle, that works fine. Pop it in, the experiment from uh, 20 degrees up to 100 works perfectly. Now, this will also work for all the experiments that this one does. Okay, so this works superbly as well. You can only pop it up to where my finger, thing, a finger and thumb is just there. Okay, so that will work in solutions, but because it, it's minus 200 to 1000 degrees. So you can put it in with the Bunsen burner to prove yellow or blue flame, which is the hottest. So that is the ideal experiment for when you want to do that. The other two will not work, but this can be used the same as the housed one as well. Thank you. So we're going to have videos on most, well, all our Bluetooth sensors are going to have videos on our website. They're on the product pages, but we have also created a Secondary Science Academy. On that, it takes you to our YouTube page, which is split into three sections for this. So it's split into how to use the Bluetooth sensors, how to use the Bluetooth sensors with experiments, and the third one is how to use the EasySense 2 software. So please go and have a look at that at data-harvest.co.uk or if you want to contact us with any questions whatsoever, please contact us sales at data-harvest.co.uk. Thank you.